welcome to another episode of Steak and Eggs. Boys, welcome back to Steak and Eggs. Yo, what up, boys? Welcome to another episode of Steak and Eggs. Did I ever tell you about why I thought Luigi had a bigger dick than Mario? No, I'd love to hear, though. So, think about it, right? So, Luigi's dating Daisy. Yeah. Mario's dating Peach. Yeah. Peach just always seems to be getting kidnapped by Bowser. Oh, no. You never see ba Daisy get kidnapped by Bowser. You think, she's going, of, she thinks she's going for that big turtle dick? That big turtle dick, that's right. I Dude, think it's not even a question. I see so much cuck stuff of like Peach oh. and Bowser. Absolutely. It's yeah. like, it's not the original. It's not even like hentai that I see, just like normal fucking comics. Yeah, it's People just, will just make cuck stuff. Yep. Cucking Mario. Yeah. And yep. they fucking love it. I'm like, what is this? Maybe that's, maybe that's why people are so fucked up now. It's because like one of the main games is actually just a cuck fantasy. It is. It's a shame. It's like, because, you know, Bowser, like, you think about it, Mario is like, oh, he's just a plumber, barely getting by. He's got an apartment in Brooklyn. You know, like, what the fuck does Mario do? Then you've got Bowser, who literally has a floating city, and, and there's a fucking castle on top of his floating city. He's got, like, 17 different supercars. Yeah. He's got eight other kids that all have their own supercars. He's got fucking, like, watches, bling, all kinds of shit. He's rich as fuck. Like, dude, this guy is loaded. Of course Princess Peach is going back to Bowser. It's not even a question. No, no, I feel bad for Mario, bro. Can I talk about something? Probably yeah. Can not. Can we discuss but go ahead. Pokemon meat? Because I've yeah. been thinking about this. Is In this, the Pokemon is this world, like, they... Is this like Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is this? <laughs> No, because in Poke Pokemon, <laughs> no, no, because in the Pokemon universe, they're yeah. eating meat, right? And some Toros, of them, yeah. some of they they hunt Pokemon and they eat meat. So let's discuss which Pokemon would have the best meat. Like Mr. Mime, for instance, okay. does he have the same rights as another Pokemon? So you could eat a oh, Taurus. He's more more of a humanoid. Yes, you yeah. could eat a Taurus, but what happens if you want to eat? A Mr. Mime. Oh, do they canonically eat Pokemon in the Pokemon universe? Uh, I do. There believe, were poachers that that hunt them and I eat them. I do believe they do. I could right, be wrong, right. but I believe you. They eat Tauros. So why stop I mean, at Tauros? That make, kind of makes sense, you know. Why yeah. stop at Tauros? Well, I mean, like you don't want to go and eat like a like a one bug. of the grass Pokemon. Yeah, That's like nasty. Oh uh, no, I think Chikorita would taste really good. You think so? Yeah, I've seen a video of her being dissected and consumed. Honestly, oh, wow. I think Mew. Put Mew? that bad boy down on a plate, like veal. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Mew would be like a veal, okay, and I people like would that. be like, "Stop like eating Mews." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh God! So delicious. Mewtwo would be a bit more gaming. Okay, here yeah, we go. Yeah, for sure. Here we go. While that may be seem a bit violent and weird, some people out or weird some people out. It's been established in the franchise for a long time that humans consume Pokemon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yep. I want to elaborate on that. Did, did they get any oh, powers man. from it? Like, did they? Can they like shoot fire for like a half hour if you eat a Charizard? I mean, I don't know, but like, I mean, if you look up a Pokemon called Appleton. But yo, Jay, can we pull up Appleton? Oh, you showed us us apple like, pie. Yeah, bro, bro is a turtle. apple pie. Like, what yeah, is I, that? I, I, what I are you gonna that. do? With I'm them? gonna be on. I eat that bitch. <laughs> yeah, mean, yeah. Okay. If you're if you're evolution, right? In, would, in, he, in, would he be meat or apple pie? Yeah, that's what I mean. So yeah. what, imagine evolving <laughs> as an apple pie meant to be eaten. Yeah, like would he be an animal? Look or at that fucking. Is there, like, how do you evolve as that? And so on that same topic, Emmy. <laughs> yes. Emmy, on that same topic, if I cut into an oddish. Yep. Do I get vegetable or do I get blood? You, I think you that blood. you get vegetable. Because get like in my mind, I think the Pokemon are like a, they're like uh, manifestations of like that type of thing. You know, okay. like a-, a That matter. A, yeah, a real manifestation of it. Yeah, it's like you have like 50 radishes and then one of them is an oddish. So, it's all like right. like a mutation. So- Okay, this kind of blows my mind yeah. a little bit. So the Pokemon, they react. They're pretty coherent. So they're well, not. Are, they only say one. They only say their name, right? Unless you're Mewtwo, then they talk. That's that was just for the movie. Let's be real. Yeah, that's true. Like nobody gave a fuck about that. That was so weird. <laughs> yeah, but Meowth also talked. So oh, let's say. Oh, that was stupid. He doesn't yeah. count. He's different, right? He's yeah, but Meowth wasn't that different. He just trained himself to speak English, which yeah. means other Meowths can do it. Well, he was also so, on Team Rocket. Yes. Which is like they didn't follow the rules anyway. Yes. Which means there is somewhere, somewhere where they are eating meows that can speak English and they're like, No! <laughs> no, I, th I think it's like if, if yes. the Pokemon is based off something that you would eat, like say like 
I don't know, like a, a meat animal, but like you wouldn't eat a cat. I would Why eat not? a Pikachu. That's some. That's like a rat, right? You wouldn't eat a rat. Yeah, but you see how fat that is. How you much meat? Yeah, a little car. Fat rat. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't eat a rat. Well, I don't know. I mean, it depends. Like, if people told me that like the rats were really good, I'd probably eat them. When I was a kid, I used to dream of having a ditto as my girlfriend. Why? Because it could be anything I wanted it to be. <laughs> yeah, be but it still has the ditto face. I know. So you'd have to deal with that. Yeah, you really? bag it. <laughs> have you ever seen <laughs> ditto? <laughs> have you seen <laughs> ditto turn into a girl? No, I haven't seen Ditto that. has turned into humans, but it just its face is just two dots in a, stra oh my <laughs> a straight God. line. See, that's hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so like really, really low budget anime. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that and Gardevoir as well. What if it goes like this though? Let's dig a little deeper into that. Okay. What yeah. if it goes like, you know, let's say you get a little intimate. Yeah. And it just go, Ditto! <laughs> Ditto! Well, you got to get the, yeah, you probably got to tape that up too. <laughs> <laughs> that that would, like really mess things up. <laughs> Would, I? would you be down if it was like Ditto? Yeah, I was a fucking loser. So, brother. what other Pokemon even? did you want as a girlfriend? I would, I would fuck Gardevoir. I would fuck Ditto. Uh huh. Uh, Hitmonchan. No. That's um. Yeah. Who's another? Oh yeah. Uh. Uh. The bun. The Buneary. The big one. The big one. What about uh? Vo uh Vaporeon. Yeah, Vaporeon. Absolutely. Because wow. they have acid armor, which special defense, which means it's even more resistant to take a pounding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've seen. No. No. It's it's oh a whole God. thing. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, what if, would you go? Would you give Mr. Mime a go? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> can you imagine? Mr. Mime. Dude, imagine the shit that he could make you feel with his psychic powers. Oh my god. Right? Yeah. He can make you trip like crazy. Imagine him using fucking confusion to jerk you off. Psychic powers. <laughs> a long distance hand job. That shit would be nuts. And that now you're thinking wild. about it, which is the worst. Part. Yeah, yeah. Wild, man. That is absolutely unacceptable. I As feel like. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, is you can't. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh man, he's afraid. I, I feel like no, Nintendo's gonna send us a DMCA. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, you know, Mr. Mime was fucking Ash's mom the whole series, dude. You think so? Yeah, dad was never there. All she has is her Mr. Mime. Wonder why. He's like this. Yeah. Mime! <laughs> Mime! So, what we're gonna do here is we have the two sticks and we'll turn on the burner here. We have four people here. Jay, I'll make you a steak as well. And wow, look at that. There you go, man. Let me go. Yeah. What was that face you just made, Jay? <laughs> You're like, Wait, yeah. this motherfucker got four trash cans. Well, oh, yeah. you're so clean. Well, One, my two, mom had three, a strategy. Four. Whenever we ran out of room in a trash can, we just buy a new trash can. Oh. You don't have salt or pepper? Uh, no, I got upstairs. Oh. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. This is really what's going to take the most time is cooking up all the potatoes. You want my help? No, no, you can't. It's just it's a fucking microwave. Oh, okay. Time. And stick number one. Dude, that pan is not that hot. That is fucking so cold. What do you mean? It's supposed to like make sound when you put it on. Exactly, and the sound actually sears it to the pan, which makes it harder to clean, which wastes time. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and then after I get them both in the pan, Stab the shit out of them. Get this one here. You wanna know how this hasn't been opened in months? Because it's prepped to where if you open it, shit falls out. You see, you, you see the shit fell out. <laughs> I will say, credit where credit's due, yeah. this shit smells good. It does, the potato smells good. That smells stupid good. And we'll do the other two sticks after this. We'll do a little bit more butter. Uh, yeah, that's a drawer full of stuff. Oh, birthday and candles. Birthday candles, yeah. There's those. We got hammers. Um, yeah, rubber bands. Uh, incense. Probably a bunch of other crazy oh. shit in there. And then I don't know if there's anything in the oven. Oh, oh those are brownies. Those are from like a last uh, Valentine's Day. I'll put those back in there. I. You said this one's mine. So this house is like a, it's like a time capsule, but it just never changes. Wow, it's like we're having a picnic? Full disclosure, I'm just keeping a buck. The seasoning is, is burned to fuck. It's because he didn't turn down the pan. He, it he still smells good. It does. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just keeping it 100%, you know? Oh. There you go. Thanks, bro. Uh, well, thank you for the meal, man. Yeah, yeah. for dinner. This looks great. How do we dress this properly? Like, do we okay. put the steaks Okay, so you get sauce? the potato right here. Cut it right open on this on the middle. Then I get the salt okay. and pepper. Really okay. can't fuck up a potato. <laughs> it just it smells good. 
Fun what fact about A1, uh, it actually never actually goes bad. It just um, turns into like wine. Uh. That's crazy. That's good as fuck. <laughs> it's actually good as fuck. Try that shit. Okay, first time real mm -hmm. authentic Asmongold steak. Mm -hmm. See that? You know, what, you know what's crazy though? That's for you. It tastes just like beef jerky. It does? Yep, just like beef jerky. You wanna know what my favorite food in the world is? Beef jerky. That's right. Yep. That's right. <laughs> you know, like, it is a little dry, but. It's, it's supposed to be it's dry. But it's dry and then the sauce. Because like if it's dry, it. that means there's nothing bad, any bad mold or anything like that that's gonna get through. If you eat it like this, it feels like you're eating beef jerky. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's literally just beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean see that makes sense. You've refined your recipe for what I'm assuming is over like 10, 12, 13 years. That's not There's no way you're some, some guy's gonna sit there and eat shit for 12 years. That's good as fuck. I mean, <laughs> I assume not. There are people that go to Whataburger regularly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I expected it to be a little bit more bland, mm -hmm. like not like in an uh, inedible way, but I mean, it has a lot, a lot of flavor. That's what putting a bunch of seasoning on it does. I'm also, you know, I'm not a big eater, right? So. Mm. It's like for most people, it's not a lot of food, but for me, it's it's perfect. We got to talk about something okay. that we were discussing on yeah. the way here. What? Whataburger. Yeah. Oh, it no. It sucks. No, it doesn't. It ain't all that. It sucks. What the fuck? Thank it's, you. It's Dude, it was crazy. Suck. Like when it I sucks. moved so here. So this is the only time Thank it doesn't you. suck. At three in the morning when nothing else no, is No, it still sucks. It tastes, well, it, more like, it tastes more like rancid oil then. Because uh, when I moved here, I was like, oh my God, you need to try Whataburger. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's no. so yes. Texas. It's so no. much yes. better. And I was like, I tried it. I was like, I didn't. And we, okay. We are fat boys. Yeah. And we were told that we would have a wonderful experience. We ordered Buy another fat boy. Yes. Nick. We ordered the entire oh, well, menu Nick on stream. Whataburger is Nick's favorite. I, know. I didn't have the heart to tell him when we went there, like that it was just kind of mid. No, y'all ordered yeah. the wrong thing. There's no fucking way. There's no. It's so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Here's what I'm saying. There are other now burger restaurants that I've had exclusive to Texas, yes. like P. Terry's. P. Terry's is fire. P. Terry's is way better. Why would anybody go to Whataburger? It's way better too. It's because of the fucking ketchup. The spicy ketchup there is fire. No, no, it's because they're it's so open good. late. That's yeah. the real reason. Yeah. No, it's the spicy ketchup. Yeah. The fries are very good. The spicy patty or the spicy powder melt, and then also their breakfast is insane. The Stop. breakfast, bre Stop. Whataburger breakfast is Stop. insane. You didn't have the bowl? The bowl? No, no, no. The breakfast bowl and Whataburger is fucking fire. There's no way you. Bro, can he's it. like dropped the microphone. He's <laughs> like losing his mind. This actually makes me so angry because people shit on shit on Whataburger all the time. It's really fucking I good. Think, I think like In and Out, in comparison to like other chain establishments, is like a cut above. But it's not as good as like the way the LA people present it. But Whataburger is like underwhelming in comparison yeah. to how much Texas rides for okay. it. Like, I mean, in and out I would say, is better than Whataburger. Yeah, I, I don't agree. think in and out is great. I yeah, don't think it's bullshit. like Shake Shack, Five Guys. I agree with you. Yeah, it, it's good. It's, it's fine. Okay. No. It's, it's good, better than Whataburger. But yeah. it's like, but like Whataburger is kind of bad. <laughs> it, it is. It's bad. It's like any time that I go to no, Whataburger, it's, it's because I have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make me angry, bro. It sounds like, like, yeah, the spicy dude, ketchup, dude. No, you just no. don't understand, You want to know what I love that ketchup? I went back, because I used to live in Canada for 10 years. Yeah. And I came from Texas. I would frequently order the spicy ketchup in bottles to that, my Canadian residents because I love it that ketchup. much. That's, that's fair. And also, in and out it's mid. The burgers are okay. The fries are the most I'm underwhelming not gonna, shit. I'm not going to ride for In-N-Out. Yeah. In-N-Out yeah. has bad french yeah. fries. I don't know if this is personal to ask, but you, how many how many VTuber models do you have? I only have this one. And then, like, there's the a pink one, one, right? The pink this one. one. The 3D oh, one in VR chat. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the 3D VR chat one. And I have a mm. gremlin one I, where I just look like an ugly little gremlin. Yeah. I, I am curious. <laughs> VTubing is expensive as shit. How, how much have Unfortunately. you- Unfortunately. How much have you spent on VTubing models out of curiosity? Uh, wait, all together? Yeah. In like one big- yeah, In one chunk, if you were to guess. Probably like almost 40 grand. That's a lot. Holy, Holy shit! Fuck. Well, no, what are you getting? What, is, what are you is, getting is surprised that? by, dude? Huh? Shy Lily, don't feel bad about this. You say forty <laughs> grand. Oh, she only spent forty grand on anime girls. You spent four hundred k. Okay, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Lily spends more than me in Gotcha games. 
No, she doesn't. Do you really? No, right now. She plays like every gacha game. She plays every gacha. She plays Nikkei. Nikkei, Genshin, Honkai. Only the good ones. Only the good ones. Yep. So how many good ones are there? Well, so that is Genshin. That was that was what got me into gacha. I wasn't into the gacha at all. Me too, actually. Genshin ruined everything because Genshin was just like. It was super chill. It was my first like non-competitive game I played, and it was like just vibing. And it was fun, and I was spending some money here and there. I've always spent money on gaming. I've never been like really against it all so much. What was your first? Spend what was your first yeah. spend? What was your first spend ever? I know mine. Mine was Farmville. I bought the green cow. What was your first spend on any game you ever played? What broke you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys know Club Penguin? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god. Yeah, the, the, the puffles, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, you, you can. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, how do I know that? I played Wait. Club Penguin too. I didn't. Uh, neither did I. What? I thought everyone played it. But, like, no. that was the first one. But, like, so... I didn't have a credit card, obviously. I'm, like, a fucking child. I can barely read. I don't have a credit card. But you can call <laughs> the shop. And then they just bill it from your phone number. And I kept doing that. And my mom never figured out. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, no. How many damn oh, puffles no. did you get? Yeah, how high did it get? A lot of puffles. A lot of puffles. I don't actually know how much I spent. I was way too young. I was way too much back then. Jesus. Dude, you must the, have been so game. cool. So cool Dude, in that I game. Was, All those puffles. I was <laughs> yeah. blinked up. I was the most <laughs> popular penguin, bro. <laughs> I bet. Oh, well, I, I think that, um, actually, Emru, didn't you just lie? Because you said that lie. Genshin was your first, uh, your first gotcha. Didn't you play Fake Grand Order before no, that? No, I, I did, but that was the, f- or Genshin was the first game that made me a whale. Okay. I spent once so with Fake Grand Order. Moving, <laughs> <laughs> moving the goalposts. Moving the goalposts. I would say, though, I would say, though, I think Lily has spent more money than me in gotcha games. Okay, so how much money have you spent in Genshin Impact? And just, Lily, just be honest. If okay, you, we're, if, like, we're here to support you. So what, before you say anything, okay. because I don't want you to feel bad, Tecton, why don't you break the ice? How okay. much money did you spend? Uh, <laughs> Realistically, I've calculated it. You know, I've, okay, I've so exaggerated. What, but tax reasons? Reasons? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have spent $360,000 on gotcha games. For now. For so now. Wait, that's more than I thought. No way. No, I, I, that's what I thought too. I made a video on it. Oh, okay, okay. Just think about it, right? So I I C six every character, and then I R five every weapon in Genshin I Impact. Didn't. Yeah, so you spent more clearly because well, I only see six. I only see six characters starting like maybe a year ish after playing Genshin. So not every single character, and most of my weapons are left at like R one two. Oh three-ish. wow, that's so casual. <laughs> wow. yeah. and, and I, I believe Tectone because Tectone last year said, I remember, remember I was going to interview whales on yeah. my stream and you messaged me yeah. and you said at that time that you had only spent 300k. Yeah. And now you're up to 360. Only? Yeah. It's slowing down. Makes, I'm so proud sense. of you. Yeah. Well, I'm free to play on Honkai. The last time I spent, yeah. okay, I did whale one time on well, Genshin. Well, I mean, yeah. you know. <laughs> well. Because dude, did you, did you pull for New Violet, Lily? Um, I did, but I only see two of them. Okay, no. okay. Oh, so, I see six of them so fast. So, so all right. <laughs> so, how much have you spent, Lily, on that game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, okay. Okay, so, so how much, though? Like, really? Though. That's scary. <laughs> I, okay, okay, okay. I, okay. I don't know. I don't want to keep track, but like the average to see six a character is like what? 1.5K? On yeah. average. Okay, okay. So on okay. average, I probably have like. For me, it's like I have 900. Every standard character. Oh my God. Six from losing. All the 50 50s, mm. and I think I have like uh six, seven event characters. C6, okay, so that's oh, shit, that's way more money than okay, I thought. So, so we're it's talking like this is like a fifteen thousand dollars situation, fifteen to twenty grand, probably because I also got the weapon for almost all of them. Yeah, okay, no, nah, there's no way that's, that's just that's, that's just invention, so though. That's not mm, so bad, okay, that's just okay. No, st- st- it's just the Genshin. No, because, oh, okay, I, I, I wasn't trying to call you no, out, but I, have I know seen there's Lily other games. Drop 2.2k on one stream in Honkai Star Rail. Really? Yes. Uh, so I know it's more insane. than just a little bit. I got a little unlucky, okay? I, I had a little dry spell, all right? There were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's yeah. She didn't want to come home, but I really wanted her, and I really wanted her to be say six. And um, Jesus, oops. have you ever thought about like 
how no. down bad gotcha <laughs> players are that like their term for like getting a character is to have the character come home. <laughs> like it's like that, that's what they want their dad to do. I like, it's like about that oh, too. I hope my dad comes home from getting milk at the store someday, right? It's like, well, I didn't get that, so at least Kafka came home instead. <laughs> Mommy Kafka can father me. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> no, let's, let's, I don't know. Let's, I, yeah, I want to think about this. Honest, I want to think about this Sasha wrestling. Ruins you. It mm, does. Mm, mm. But Honkai Star Rail, Nikkei, Genshin Impact. Mm. Is there any other gotchas you're playing right now? Um, I had this Aja Lane sponsor, and I yep. kind of kept playing. <laughs> yep. For how long? <laughs> for, oh, sorry, sorry. Better question. For how much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I only spent a couple hundred so far. Oh. Only a couple hundred. Oh. Only that's a couple normal. hundred. I realize how fucked up my standards have become saying only a couple hundred. Um, that is yeah. actually not very humble. <laughs> so, so, I mean, that's just, you know, Wait. typical Twitch streamers, you know, getting disconnected from the oh. common man. <laughs> It's for content. It's for content. It's for content. Yeah. Of course. Uh, it's an investment. It's None a, of us here like can talk. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's, I'm investing, guys. I'm investing. Wait, I don't. I don't. I'm investing. I swear. So I don't, every time this new chatter comes in chat, I can be like, yeah. If only I had this character. Oh wait, I do. It's C six. Oh yeah, face. talking <laughs> shit. Yeah, of course. If you only want content, mean. content. Nice. Mm -hmm. oh. If only I would get anything else out of it. What were you saying to me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you would know this. You said you spent mm -hmm. 40k on all your VTubing models. Is that like yeah, yeah, yeah. standard for bigger VTubers? I want to say yeah, because the prices skyrocketed like absolutely crazy. And so to keep up with like the demand of VTubing in a place with very few skilled, strong names, you just raise your prices my first vtuber model was only seven grand and then it just only so gradually good. became okay well it's still expensive as fuck but yeah, that's crazy <laughs> but um yeah it's skyrockets crazy but the demand is just uh if you're a flesh tuber you can just go shopping and just get well yourself you got plastic like surgery like yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> they're real they're real they're real uh, well, like, what is a number that you think that you would need to live off for a year and sustain you? Like, based on my current expenses. Like, assuming I don't spend any money on my stream or Wait, anything like that. You surely don't pay rent, right? Of course I do. What the fuck? Well, I own you, a house. How much do you pay? Can I ask? Wait, you, pay, you own a house, but you pay rent? Well, I mean, I, I, I pay, 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 I pay, I, there's a monthly payment that I make. How much is it? Oh, um, like a mortgage? It was $700. God damn, that's and, nice. Uh, I Fuck, think that makes me so angry. Yeah. Oh, I'm so jealous, bro. And so, yeah, well, no, I, I own a house now. And so, yeah, yeah no, it, it's no big deal. I think that if you take out all of the other things that I spend money on because of an outcome of my stream, yeah. I would probably need about $12,000 a year to live. I used to be like that. Yeah. I think, I think maybe a bit less, maybe like that. 10. That is insane to me because when I was at my yeah. worst, I had to make 5,000 last a year. And that was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And I was like, I was like skipping days of eating. Really? Wait, yeah. why? Well, because rent was like five hundred dollars as well. And well, so then, then it's like, okay, so you have five hundred dollars. That, that's ten months. Through, no, exactly. Right. That's like twelve months. I only have five k for the whole fucking year. How the fuck am I going to stretch five thousand to become well, six thousand and just rent? Just get more money. What do you mean? It was hard getting just more well, money. I, mean, I don't know. It's. I mean, like you got to figure out. Like so, like, you do. I don't know. Like fucking. Like scam people or something. I can't tell who's out of touch. Me what? or you. It's one of us. I can't tell who. What if it's both? It might be both. I, I used to think I feel like 12000 for a year is crazy. What do you mean? Like that, that's like that's like impossible to live off of. No, it's not. Where is that? It should be very hard to live off of. 12K? Definitely not impossible. It's not no, that surely big it's not of impossible. a deal. Okay, but okay, let's, let's think let's, realistically. Okay? Yeah? Rent. Okay? Okay. Rent. Probably, I would assume, is low end 1200 for Wait, most people. 12000 Okay, so 1200, 1200. he has a $700 payment. So then yeah. he's got it's like it's bills, going down now. It's internet, going down. electricity, et cetera. Yeah. Then are you, you're spending like $100 on food? Uh, yeah, about somewhere around there. Maybe where, like 150 Where in here fits in the money for you to spend on like Diablo mobile game and shit? Well, see, that's what I was saying. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I said, yeah. aside from stream expenses, right? Okay. Because I spent $5,000 on that game. Yeah. And like, that's over the budget. 
So it would have to be a different budget. Yeah, That's for, a business expense. For me, I, I do own a whole house. Yeah. That's 3.5K a month. And then utilities Jesus. generally an extra 600. That's a really high house payment. It no, is. It's not. I okay. mean, it could, if, it, could be say, it could be way worse, but it is pretty If I high. lived, it is the most expensive I've ever been in. If I lived somewhere that wasn't Austin, it'd be way cheaper. Yeah. I, I don't like going over 2K for houses. It could I don't be think worse, you need to. though. Absolutely. And I, can, I can own a bachelor, it but could I, be worse. I like living with my friends. I don't ask them to pay rent because I don't fucking want that shit. Okay? Pay utilities, $700. Food a month, I'd probably say at least six, $800 mm -hmm. on food if I want to eat healthy. And then I have my supplements so that way I don't die. My supplements every month. You don't month. need that. I don't have supplements. I don't die. I do. Uh, and you have, my, you have cats. Yeah, my body's fucked up. Then I have four oh. cats. Four cats are expensive. That's Can't you make money off the cats somehow? Tried. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want to work. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think of something. That's got to be at least another three, four hundred. Yeah. There's vet bills. And then there's gym. Gym is, you know, I could go to a cheaper gym. I don't. I go to a gym where it's $100 a month. Couldn't oh, go. that bullshit. Oh, damn. Yeah, $100 yeah, a no, month. I, that's a I lot. Know. Yeah, yeah, I know the one. I mean, a lot of those it's, cheap gyms are like, you know like what? Planet Fitness. I'm going to Planet Fitness. Maybe it's just Austin. Because yeah. this place seems ridiculous to live in. It is expensive, yeah. Like, expensive as fuck. Especially when you know the difference of like Austin versus another area that's outside of Austin. The price difference is insane. It's like, nuts. It's fucking insane. Oh, yeah. I have friends of mine that have bought houses outside of Austin for that reason. Yeah. And they, they all make pretty good money too. And it's just like, even then, it's like, what the fuck are we going to do buy a house here? Yeah. Like in my neighborhood, it's like they got people that have nice cars in my neighborhood. It used to not be like that. It's yeah. weird. Uh, you told me you were pissed about it. I was. I see a bunch of white people jogging around with visors on. That Fuck used to that. not be. He used to not be like that. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah gentrify my area. <laughs> okay. Trying to ruin my neighborhood. All right, we'll but it, but it is hard. Like when you're a kid, that was my biggest fear. Yeah. Like my, when I was a kid, I was like, "How the fuck am I going to pay rent? How am I going to pay for my own pay for my own food? What the hell? What do you mean? Yeah. It's not just going to be in my fridge." <laughs> it's hard to fathom when you're a kid. Like 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 breaking the immersion of. There not being food in your fridge unless you put it there was yeah. crazy to me. Or like not having a house unless you pay for it was insane. I know. I mean, because you just stay in at your, <laughs> your mom's house. And there it is. There's the solution. It's that Dude. simple. And so for me, I remember I was like seven or eight. And the teacher's like, what do you want to do whenever you get older? I said, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing What do it. you mean? <laughs> like everything's fine. Like, let's not fuck with this. Like, this is so good. Yeah. Like, I come home, I play Super Mario Brothers, my mom makes me food, and then I drink soda and I go to bed. So did you, did you not get the average parent talk of Hey, when you turn 18, you're getting the fuck out of my yeah, house. Yeah, I was about fuck to say, no. this dude's so lucky. Well, I, I didn't have that, but my parents were like, once you turn 18, if you're ever not in school, you're paying rent. And I was like, all right, I moved out a week after I graduated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for me it was, listen, buddy, when you turn 18, you're joining the military like everybody else in this fucking family. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, God. No, fuck no, bro. Uh, oh, I'm good. Call of Duty's scary. <laughs> I don't even like that job. The reason why I didn't join the military is because you had to wake up early. That's hard. I just don't want to do that. Like anything, I have to wake up early. It's like, uh, you, you know. You got to exercise a lot too. Nah, that's fine. Like I used to exercise all the time. I used to go out and do stuff all the time. But I'm not gonna wake up early. Like that 6 a.m. shit, nah, bro. Like <laughs> fuck that. Who do you think? Who do you think is the most athletic out of the three of us? Uh, probably me. But um, why don't we do an obstacle course? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I mean, I'll show up, but that's not fun. <laughs> I don't think yeah. anyone. We we could test. I would be down. It'd Who's be the fun. most athletic? Well, we could do a. Are we get a drill charge to yell at us. Uh, the like police and military fitness test. We, sh we should just do it and just see like how far each of us can get. That would be fucking. What is, awesome. is there a name for it? Uh, it's not the fitness grand page. Test. No. Yeah, I remember that. The fitness grand page. I was test. good at that in school. It's actually a multi stage aero, aero capacity test. Is that how it goes? There's some name for like the police or military fitness test thing, but I don't remember what it's called. I see some fat cops. It's probably not that hard. Well, they probably got That's what fat I'm saying. after. How the fuck are these fat fucks being police officers? Yeah. They should do that shit once a year. They should probably have to, yeah. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, oh, yeah, well, you did it 10 years ago, so you're good. That makes no fucking sense. No, it doesn't, especially since you got to have to, you know, like, deal with people running away from you. Yeah. Like, I've seen videos of cops, like, a guy runs away, and the cop's like... <laughs> 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 what are you going to do? Hey, hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> Sometimes they get away from you. Uh, where the crime they were committed wasn't so Only bad a after all. misdemeanor. <laughs> we'll get them later. <laughs> Yeah, set up a trap. 
<laughs> or or learning how to. Oh, you'll be really fun taking uh taking uh samurai classes. Oh yeah, because you're crazy with that shit. Oh, the I, shit you do with the sword blows my fucking mind. I um, my, I we used to my friend. Oh my god, my friend. We we watched the last samurai. And he ordered a samurai sword off of a fucking catalog. Yeah. And he was telling me that whenever he wanted to go up, he wanted to be a samurai. And I was like, mm. wait, bro, I thought they stopped doing that. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I thought like, because now like there's like guns and shit, right? Because you saw the ending of the movie, right? Like yeah. it just didn't really work out. Yeah. And he's like, no, it's going to be different. And I'm like, we're like eight years old, he's nine gonna years old. going to deflect the bullets Straight with up. the sword. Yeah, like John Wick. <laughs> I don't know how people, I don't know how NPCs see that and think, you know what? He probably Did got you lucky. NPCs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm saying like you play a video game, you're the main character. Oh, I thought you meant real right. people. Oh, no. I yeah. was like, okay. So these, these fuckers <laughs> shoot a bullet at your character, and you go, yeah, yeah. They're like, uh, I'll stick around. Yeah, <laughs> I'll shoot another one. Yeah, but he must have just lucky. bullet with a katana. I'm like, oh, uh, never mind. We really need a game like that where yeah. it's like the NPCs can actually think they're like, wait a minute, why the fuck am I here? And then yeah. you have to chase them down and like fucking stab them and in the back. And then the whole game's over. Oh, there's <laughs> some yeah. games like that. Yeah. There are. There's like fables kind of like that, you know, at the end of the game. The other $5,000 I got from XQC. Yeah. Dude. Did he really go in there with a briefcase full of money with Aiden? Asmund. <laughs> that happened? This, this is going to be on the podcast. I will say everything. It is indescribable to talk about how much money that man has. Like truly to okay. even fathom it, it is unreal. Let me tell you something. Because I'm friends with all... So through the, the, the... We can talk about the school live thing. Through that, I became friends with his lawyers. His, all of his managers have my numbers now. And um, I'm basically in contact with every person he had. Okay? Okay. This man gambles so much that he had seven hotels. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, Is this like, like Monopoly? How? It's seven hotels. Okay. And they were the penthouse suites. They're bigger than your house. Right. Like actually bigger than that. It's not hard to do, but yeah. Not only that, full butler services. Okay. And they gambled so much this weekend that he now gets a free private jet to go back to LA. Oh, I bet they do. Whatever he wants. I bet they do he give also, him a jet. He also gets limo service anywhere he wants in the city at any time, no matter where he is. I bet he fucking does. And it is wild to be with that man. Wow. Like, you're because you you bet with Canute after he gets a, a beautiful wedding in, in nine minutes of ads an hour, and you're like, holy crap, this guy is uh yeah. you know, living large. And then you go with XQC, and here's what happened. So me and Nick walk with XQC, me, Nick, and Melania. We walk with XQC to go gamble. And I, I was going to pull out like a few thousand dollars. And he just sits at the table and pulls out a card. Mm -hmm. And he gives it to the lady. And she said, how much money do you want to take out? And he goes, a uh, hundred. Yeah. She's like, a hundred? He's like, no, a hundred grand. And she's like, okay, yeah. I'll pull out a hundred grand. The, the service happens. They pulled out a hundred thousand dollars. Right. And he gives me 5K. And I'm like, let's go. This is going to be an exciting night. I'm so excited. Okay. His phone rings and he walks away from the table. And I'm like, okay, well, we're just sitting here with a $5,000. Yeah. And I asked the lady, can I play? And she said, no. And they called the police. On what? Us what? Because they didn't believe that this was real. Because he literally, imagine, $100,000. And you just walked away from it. And they're like, is this some sick joke? Like, you can't, there's no way you yeah, just left yeah. 100 grand on the table. He left it. And then right. uh, he, and the worst part is, I couldn't play with the money because he didn't sign the paper. So he had to sit there. Like, so how long, like, what happened? So he's on the phone for like, what, 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Like, 20 minutes, he comes back oh, and, and he, he sits down, he signs the paper. Okay. And uh, we play a few hands of, of, of uh, blackjack. I lost all the $5,000. Nick, Nick won, I think, like eight grand. Well, I'm assuming since they keep paying for him to come back, he probably also lost too, right? Uh, no, he was up. Really? Oh shit! Yeah. All right, he was up. But there you go. He, uh, it's just, it's just insane gambling like that man and how lack of care. Like he goes, like, yeah, here's ten grand. Like he gave his one friend who he bought eleven thousand dollars shoes for. Yeah. He gave him. Uh, he just was like, yeah, here's twenty grand. Yeah, play with it, have fun. Oh, fuck it. And then Buddha came what's over. What's he to gonna the do with the money? Buddha's like, what's up? He's like, yo, here's ten grand too. And we're like, yeah. 
it's just crazy to hear. But yeah, his penthouse suites have full butler service, full uh -huh. everything. And so they just kind of like keep those there in case he wants to show up just to make sure that he has a good time. Yes. And just to make sure he doesn't go anywhere else. And he's in uh, he's all uh -huh. those hotels. So this is what makes it funny with the schooled live. Right. Did you hear about what happened? So that was great. Where you tweeted, "Pick up your fucking phone. Where are you?" <laughs> and I was, I checked the, I checked the time. I'm like, wait, oh no, not again. Yeah. People yeah. were like, "Good one, dude." I'm like, "This is, this is not the good one. This is the worst." Everybody one. laughs until he's actually yeah, not there. I kind of thought he wasn't gonna show up. Honestly, <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if he didn't. He was good that he did. He was not going to show up. There was zero chance. So here's what happens. So the night before, I'm, I'm texting him and I'm like, hey man, can't wait for see you on the show, which is just me baiting him to ba be like, yeah, I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. just, and just a reminder. No answer. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, he was texting me every day to hang out and do stuff. I'm like, you're telling me now you're not messaging me. What happened? Then I start calling him, doesn't pick up. The next day, school's about an hour away, yeah. hour and a half away. I call, he's not answering. I text, he's not answering. That's when I tweeted, I'm like, please, dude, you have to show up to my live <laughs> event where thousands put of on your by fans, Twitch, yeah. thousands of your fans are gonna be there for you. Like, this is not your average, you know, I'm not going because Soda's not going. This is yeah. the huge, huge event. And I'm freaking out backstage. I felt really calm the entire time until he was just not answering. And I'm like, did I really... Am I really gonna have to go Did on the meme? Him? Is the meme really real? Yeah, I, so the first person I called is not my therapist, it was Connery's pants. <laughs> okay. Because Connery's <laughs> pants is like, yeah, I'll, of course I'll go on and replace him. I'll do anything for, and I'm like, thank you, Connor. For but sure. <laughs> I needed somebody to replace him and I was freaking out and um, I had to like kind of ask around and the one person that was actually really nice to me was Jerma. Jerma immediately said, Ms. I'm tired, I gotta go home, but if you need me right now, I will go on your show for you last minute. I'm like, he's like, I'll wait an hour for you. And he waited. Yeah. He waited the whole time just for me. He's like, hey, what I'll a wait. G. Yeah, he's actually wow. such a good dude. He's like, I'll wait. If you can't show up, I'm yeah. here for you. And um, I was like, that is actually so. So I was ready to have Jerma on the show, which I was excited about. Um, but <laughs> this is when it gets crazy. So. I'm there hanging out. Austin gets off the stage. And Austin's like, you know what? That was a great show, Miz. How are you feeling? I'm like, Austin, XQC is nowhere to be found. He's like, Miz, I'm going to try to help you. His manager's right over there. So I go to his manager. His manager's like, I didn't even know this was happening. So he's freaking out. He's calling every lawyer, attorney, everyone that XQC knows to try to find out where he is. And after like 30 minutes of figuring it out, they had two hotels out of the seven or eight he has right. that they had a good idea where he was. Okay. They didn't know. They just, apparently he was last seen there. His lawyer, who- uh, This is like the plot for the Taken. There's, there's, <laughs> about, there's about 30 minutes left. It, yeah. it, it definitely was Taken, ready? There was 30 <laughs> minutes left. His lawyer gets on the phone with the people and says, I don't care what you have to do, bust down that door and find out if he's in there. And his uh, butlers took the hinges off the door. What? To find okay. out if he was in the hotel or not. And was he? No. So okay. he wasn't in the hotel. So he wasn't hiding. Yes. So we get a call back to his manager after all this. He wasn't in the hotel. We're like, bro, we got 20 minutes left. There's no way he's making it. Jerma's getting mic'd up. He's ready to go. I'm freaking out because what am I going to ask Jerma the question about can you spell predemptual or whatever? You know, it's just, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's not, the, it's not going to hit the same. So I'm like, you know what? This is a problem. And um, his manager's like, we got one more place. So they went there. Again, they took down the hinges because they had to do it. And he was sitting there asleep with no phone because he lost it. And he was like startled because he didn't realize that it's five o'clock at night. And uh, his manager went and, you know, Billy, right? Billy from Brillstein? Yeah. yeah. He, he went and picked him up and literally drove him all the way back. Yeah. Now, we're getting told by Twitch, you have to go live at exactly five. We don't care if he doesn't make it. You need a replacement because they're strict. They're like five to 630 is your time slot. Anything over that, you're done. You can't do it. 
And I'm freaking out. I'm like, dude, this is... The fans are there for XQC. I mean, Jeremy's great and they'll love it, but it's just like the questions are for him, the, the vibe is for him. And I'm on stage and I'm, I'm now introducing people. I introduce Sea Dog. I introduce Pay Money Wubby. I introduced Pokemon. We purposely put him last. <laughs> oh, so and you guys really work <laughs> to the wire. Holy shit. And I'm crying. in the middle of saying, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Connor Eats Pants. Ooh. And as I'm saying it, the lady in the back stops me and goes, stop, he's here, he's here. Jesus and they Christ. took the set off Germa. They gave it to XQC. And he went on stage and he was actually there. And it was, if he was one to two minutes later, it had, he could not go on the stage. Wow. Yeah. All well, we that just to get, that's how much you have to do to get XQC <laughs> to go on your show. Really? Damn. Yeah. I wonder, like, imagine how stressed out Ludwig would have been. Because, yeah. like, he, didn't he do that for, like, three months? Yes. Like, imagine this is, like, a weekly occurrence. Yes. God, that would be so upsetting. Oh my God. Did you see the show at all? No. It was good. Mm -hmm. Very good. S fans, uh, S fans stage present was insane. Yeah. Because his segment yeah, about the light sucked. Me. The dodgeball thing, it absolutely sucked. Because uh -huh. the balls weren't heavy enough. Yeah. It was like throwing cotton and bricks. It just wasn't working. Yeah. But S fan, bro, he stepped up. Everybody did, to be honest. It was a really, really, really good show. You were, Damn. you were actually freaking out. But I think, uh, it went really well. Oh yeah, I I got off the stage and Jacob, who did the whole thing, yeah, he he came to me and he's like, "How do you think we did, Miz?" I literally was like, "That show sucked. I hated it. I thought it was terrible. Everyone's gonna hate it." And I didn't want to check out LSF because I'm like, they probably thought that it was the worst show of all time. But it didn't. It didn't suck dick, and it was actually good. Yeah, it it was actually good. You want to know why I thought it sucked dick? It's because uh, so the, they gave us an hour and a half an S fan. He did a great job, but he stalled an extra 10 minutes. So yeah. Who would have thought? That was it? Yeah. So S Bro was monologuing. So he was yeah. like, make, he made XQC do push ups. He was like mm. making them do stupid stuff. It was 10 minutes. How many minutes did XQC do? That's so funny. Five. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. And he did five push ups, and um, he, X, or S made him do all this stuff. So they started cutting everyone's bits. Like, Emmy, Emmy, I'm pretty sure you're. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to have. So I did. Two sets of words. They actually told me to do one, but then he told me to do another one on stage. I had four sets of words, but so you got I, cut. I think in a way it kind of worked out better because I feel like it would have been too long. So you got cut for S fans monologue. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Not not just me, Will as well, and I think Nick <laughs> and someone else too. Naturally. Yeah. yeah. The really funny thing was is Miz was freaking the hell out the whole time behind stage. Saying like how it's gonna suck, and so yeah. Bonnie picks up on that and she's worried about Miz right. because all the seats aren't filled. So Bonnie goes out and starts grabbing random people to come watch our show. She okay. thinks like 50 They weren't people random people. Seat. They were fans. They were just confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she schooled over here, uh, over here, yeah. No, she was literally grabbing people. Oh, my like, God. Right this way. There's a great show. You're going to yeah. love it. And they were homeless oh my people God. outside. Yeah. She was bringing them in. Okay, to be fair, it did fill up, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I did, yeah. I was terrified. I was going to ask, though, like, so... You're talking about like, obviously people feel like they perceive a bigger sense of accomplishment the harder something is. Well then why the hell do people pay to win in games? Uh, I know that answer. Well, so, yeah, let's hear it. Because <laughs> it's fucking fun. <laughs> that, that it? So, so when we talk about pay to win, what kind of game are we talking about? We are talking about any game like, let's say, Honkai Star Rail. just came out recently. The three of us have played it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you spend money and there's a chance for you to get something that will be more powerful than what Yeah, a, a better unit that free-to-play yeah. players can yeah, get. Yeah, so, so I, th I think it's because it's the same reason why people cheat to get into med school. Right, because the, the reward that you get at the end, when I beat something in a particular game or I down this boss, if I could pay to win to beat uh -huh. Millennia, I still get to walk around and say, hey, I beat Millennia. Yeah, I've got the sword now. Right, so now what started to happen is we place value on accomplishments within games. Uh -huh. And if you suck too much to do them, you just pay to win, Yeah. right? And then there's also like other things about pay to win, which is that I think they're just really good at the way that they design you wanting to purchase things. They sure are. <laughs> like, because, yeah. you know, like, I remember when I was playing, like, Genshin Impact, like, you've got some four-star character, and then there's, like, a five-star character who's just objectively better. Yeah, for Genshin, yeah. that was a massive problem. For Honkai Star Rail, it's actually, that's actually not a problem, hmm. which is crazy to me. And you, you I think you'll realize that, because the, the, you have a Zila at E4. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of damage. 
<laughs> but there's a Don Hang who's completely free, and he only does like 10% less damage at E0. So I'm doing 10% more. That's true. That's yeah. very true. Mm, but I, I have played my first Guardian. This is my first Guardian game ever where I'm completely free to play. Hopefully by the time of this is releasing, I'm still free to play. Uh, it makes the games, in my opinion, for this one specifically, it is so much more fun. I love it. I mean, so here's the other thing with free to play. Yeah. You still pay with time. Of course. Right? So there's also... It's free to play. I just have to play 12 hours a day to keep up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so like I have a buddy who's like a radiologist who, you know, would spend, I don't know, like thousands of dollars on every Hearthstone expansion. Oh my God. And, and he's just like, yeah, sure, I could grind, but like, you know, it's Do just the easier. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is the other thing that I, I don't even think gamers, uh, game developers have really realized this yet, but I don't think they really understand. They're, they're still operating off of like an old anchor, right. which is that the price of a video game is based on what my parents are willing, what I have to convince my <laughs> parents. Yeah. Right? And everyone's getting up in arms over $70. But I think at some point, a game developer is going to realize like there are people out there who will pay $1,000 a month for a really high quality or even $5,000 a month for a high quality gaming. Experience. I agree. Yeah, a lot of them play Genshin Impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. You got the whales, right? Yeah, I spent, uh, I think the most I spent on one copy of a character, it was actually, it was actually a weapon, it was called Staff of Homa. I think it was somewhere in the range of $12,000 for one copy of a weapon, and I had to do it five times. Wait, what character's weapon five was that? Times? I had to pull for a weapon called Staff of Homa. It's a really funny thing that they do in these games where, yeah. so usually in the games, there's like two different things that have like a gambling system. There's the character and there's an empowering device for the character. So the empowering device for the character, am I right about this? Yep, yep. Is, and all of them, like with the characters, the more duplicates of the characters you get, the, the more the base like power level of the character increases. And it's the same thing with the weapons too. So it's not enough for you to get the weapon once. There are other functionalities that you unlock by getting it multiple times. Yeah, this is like that constellations, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, I was there like, I was like, what is this? But yes, the, I have to pull it like six times to unlock this. That's stuff? right. But the big difference is with the character constellations in Genshin, um, the characters you pull for it once. If you lose, you get it the next time. Okay. When Genshin first came out. That system didn't exist for the weapon banner. It's called a pity system. Yeah, they did not have a pity system. Yeah, so it's like if you miss it nine times, you'll at least get it the tenth time. Yeah, but this one didn't have so it. So people will just keep pulling. So I pulled for it, and I did this all on stream. Um, I lost the quote-unquote 50-50 22 times, which is astronomical. Quote-unquote 50-50. Yep. And I was, I, was, <laughs> yeah. I was losing my... F and this is all on video, too. I was losing my fucking mind. And after the video, the video has over a million views now. Um, it was posted all over Billy Billy, which is a Chinese website as well. That's like YouTube. And their video of it got like 10 million views. And the player base all saw this, got absolutely furious. Like sort of like strangling, uh, which was, what was their original name? MiHoYo, now HoYoVerse, for like, you need to change this. And two weeks after I pulled for Staff of Home, they changed the entire system. And now they have a pity on the weapon system as well. well. Let me give, so let me you're me. responsible for the pity system? I, people it? say that, but I don't believe it. Yeah. It's, it's wow. a coincidence. Do you feel like the people that got the staff after you devalued your staff though? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yep. There yep. it is. Yours is special. Like, I, yeah. uh -huh. No, it's not. <laughs> it's special. Yeah. yeah he, he got it the hard way. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, they, these Yo. kids these days, they'll never understand what it was really like. <laughs> yeah. $12,000 in the hole, 22 missed chances. I mean, it's it's hard, but sometimes if your life isn't really going anywhere, the only place you can be elitist is in a yeah. video game. Well, do you think that's like oh a big reason God. why? Yeah. Asman, do you think you're dirty? No. That's what I think too. Techie, are we dirty? Y'all too? Yeah. Nah. So, <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. So yeah, because like somebody made a clip and they showed me this and it was like you saying that you wore a shirt two days in a row. Yeah. Like this is some kind of a big deal. Exactly. Like, oh, everybody, oh, too good to wear a shirt two days in a row. Get the fuck out of here. Of course it's fine. I agree. As long yeah. as it doesn't smell, it's totally okay. Wait, y'all wear the same shirt two days in a row? If it doesn't smell. Ah. Uh, Wait, have you gone longer than that? Do, yeah. Uh, so, What's the longest? Oh, uh, man. Uh, a week? Like, of, of one shirt. Yeah, of one shirt. A month. What? <laughs> <laughs> so fucking gross. That's amazing. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't really sweat. I'm a, you know, I'm a, that's what I say. I'm not a dirty guy. I'm a clean guy. So it's fine if I wear a shirt for a whole month in a row. I... Right, because like I, I will get a shirt in a month. That's how dirty other people make a shirt get in a day. 
Yes, you're just very clean and put together as we yep. were, so it's totally fine. That's right. Exactly. I never get my hands dirty, never get dirty at all. And uh, you don't start no problems, there won't be any problems. I, I, sh I shower twice every day, but I still oh. Yeah. Ew, really? It's my favorite thing. I have time for that. It only takes two minutes. Oh, yeah, I just get in, beard wash. I don't got no hair. Yeah, see, for me, it takes longer. See, the hair, the hair. Uh huh. Like, because I keep myself so clean. Plus, dude, oh my God, I go to the store called Lush. Oh. So whenever I walk in my shower, it smells like fruit and rainbows. And yeah. like, oh. it smells like fruity pebbles every single time I go in there. Lush and, and, then I, and then I take moisturizer. And the best thing about being bald is when you moisturize your face, you can also moisturize your head at the same time. Mm. Oh, and yeah. I get coconut butter. Oh, it feels so good. It is so refreshing. Why don't you just wash your beard in the sink? Why would I do that? I don't know, because they don't have to get your whole body wet. But that's fun. I like I like that. Do you wash your hair, your beard in the sink, Jasmine? No, why would I do that? That's nasty. Do you wash your beard? Because, like, how are you going to get down in there in the sink yeah. and have it be like, oh, you got you to gotta get in there? No, I just wash it whenever I take a shower, and then that's it, you know? Really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not that big of a deal. I've got an episode that's a rematch of the Pokemon debate where I brought on uh, the world's greatest Pokemon player to argue with me that a billion lions would lose against Pokemon. I don't know anybody who would possibly think a billion lions would beat one of every Pokemon. Yeah, it's it's just preposterous that it even happened in the first place. Yeah, the fact that anybody would ever believe that a billion lions would win is insane. Yeah. Yeah, aren't there like a significant another number of Pokemon that could just like blast them? Yeah, like that's in, the thing. Yeah. I just had a guest on my podcast who was very dumb and she said the most stupid shit ever and people ate it up like slop. But what did she say? She said, she said the lions could launch themselves out of a catapult and take out all the flying Pokemon. She said that uh, the lions in extreme conditions would skin each other and form lion jackets and it would help them withstand the cold. Okay. And also, she said some pretty fucked up shit about Jesus Christ, and that got her in a lot of hot water. Oh, Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me tell you why that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Right? That's what I was trying. I was trying to figure out how it made sense in the first place. She oh. beat me in the debate somehow. What? Yeah, the audience voted, and she she blew me out of the water. But so, okay, if she's saying that the lions could have used items. That means the Pokemon can use items. I don't and, know what an item is. A so catapult is an item. Yeah, like so this, like a, yeah, like a gun, right? Like, oh, oh my wire. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> so, so, let's say the lions wear a coat to prevent... It's okay. I, I, yeah, I think, that, I think that leaking's normal. Yeah, don't worry about it. But... <laughs> so, let's say every Pokemon... <laughs> Let's say every Pokemon could use an item, right? There's an item in the game called uh, Leftovers. And what Leftovers does is... It Dude, how what? many of those are there in the... Ch <laughs> <laughs> There's not that many. Yeah, I know, man. I love the smoke that... I love the smoke that comes out, man. You look nervous. I'm not nervous. That's just my face. That one's for later. That's, <laughs> that's the treat. <laughs> Let's say every Pokemon's using leftovers. Leftovers is an item that slowly regenerates all of the Pokemon's HP. They lose. They can't do anything against that. Yeah. There's there's nothing they can do at all. Not to mention Pokemon like Arceus, who's God. Okay. Now there is a debate because I'm 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 versed in the one billion lions versus uh, Pokemon debate. And there's this dumb shit. Uh, that people say, oh, well, any ghost Pokemon would beat the lions because they're normal type. That's not mm. true. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's an inaccurate statement because every lion has a dark move equipped into their skill set. Because let's think naturally, like a lion would have the move Slash, which is normal. 80, I believe 80 base power has a higher chance of critical scaling with 100% accuracy. And they yeah, also have I another that. move called Bite and or Crunch, which is dark. And dark is actually super effective against ghosts. So right. the ghost Pokemon uh, debate does not work at all. Wait, so I think I'm a little confused. So is this... A billion lions versus every Pokemon at once, or every Pokemon one by one? No, it's all of them at once. At once, okay. yeah. Okay, a re okay. Like a huge, just like open field, and you just let them all go. Yeah. And I brought this Pokemon expert, the best Pokemon player of all time, Wolfie VGC, onto my side. Yeah. And the argument he had that I think won it this time around was 
how are the lions going to find all of them? As you, in, how will 10 billion lions or a billion lions, yeah. how will they know where the Pokemon are? There's only a thousand of them. That's true. They'll never find them all. And you know what's crazy? Mm. Two, two of the lions or two of the Pokemon will be the lions because then you have yeah. Zoro, Ark, and Ditto posing yeah. as fake undercover lions. Fucked up. How That's the fuck are up. they going to find that? And they can divert the whole group of lions. Yep. Only how many lions can see a group of Pokemon if you have a billion of them? How many will actually be able to correctly identify where they are? They would just identify it by the corpses that the Pokemon would leave. I think we're all in agreement. Yeah, that makes sense. Before the podcast, I mean, you said a billion lions would win. No, that's not what I... He misunderstood. He asked me the question I'd never heard before and I was like, a billion lions? Like, I was like, why the fuck? And then he thought that was me saying a billion lions would mm. win. Well, well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. No. You'd be yeah, wrong no way. if you thought that. There's no way. Plus, Ray Quaza alone, he would just fly in the air and just hyper beam down. See, that's how the lion catapult beat me. Because... It's just so silly. You know? uh, <laughs> it just wouldn't, it would never happen. <laughs> but I, I just didn't know how to respond. Like the lions are going to make a catapult as oh, if they can do that. Those did you, fucking did you bring up Arceus at all? Yeah, yeah. Catapult. But he's in a different catapult. Really? Yeah. And then there was this MS Paint image of a bunch of them stacked on top of each other. And that was also, that also got me. Mm. Okay, but... But just getting to you, like, isn't, like, enough, you know? Like, what are they going to do when they get yeah, to God? Yeah, can't they, like, gun them down midair? Yeah. There are Pokemon with guns? No, like, I, oh. I don't mean literally, but, like, you know, they have ranged attacks that they can yeah. shoot midair. Probably, but then there's a billion of them. So <laughs> that's the only if you if you are on the billion lion side, you win only by fucking stupidity. Yeah, but and the so absurdity many. of the argument. But dude, there's a billion. <laughs> nope. Jacket. Nope. Catapult. So that's okay. what but got me the first time. Are I was they so, going up all at once? They stack up on top yeah, of they each stack. other. Aren't there it's Pokemon like the, with laser beams? Can't they don't they have like pierce? Like, you know, like that stat and like a uh, roguelike, the, like, you know, they can pierce through multiple. Yeah, there's, there's tons. But the other thing is like, how the fuck is a lion going to hold up 10 million lions on his back? He's not. That's what I'm saying. The stack up makes no sense. Exactly. Know, how many dinosaurs were there? No, I don't think there's dinosaurs in the... No, but I was saying, like, how many dinosaurs were there? How many were there? Yeah, there's probably like, there's probably like a billion dinosaurs. No, no A way. billion? There's no probably way. a billion dinosaurs. No were way. there a billion dinosaurs? I no, feel like there's... No, no way. There's oh, 7.2... No. Billion humans on Earth right now, dude. What isn't there? It's I don't think it was. It's eight, eight billion. Yeah, humans? eight billion. Yeah, so there could there's, there's probably a billion dinosaurs. So you think there'd be one dinosaur for every eight people? Well, there's some small dinosaurs. They're like fish. Yeah, that's true. They had some tiny ones. Yeah. Wait, there were fish dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alligator, crocodile. Those are dinosaurs. Oh, Closest dude. we'll ever get. We got to talk about crocodiles later. I found out some crazy shit. What okay. I'm saying is, if one meteor took out all the dinosaurs, there might there couldn't have been too many. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a Pokemon called Garchomp. <laughs> he has a move called Draco Meteor. One of them's that's got to blow up at least a hundred million lions, depending on how many meteors a dinosaur, how many meteors a dead killed dinosaurs. I'm gonna Google how many dinosaurs. Wait, how many Do we like have fact checkers? How many like elephants are there? Because like, mm. I feel that's like a big animal. You know, dinosaurs were pretty animal. big animals. How many dinosaurs were there? I feel like the bigger an animal you are, the harder it is for there to be a lot. Because you know, you need a lot of your own space. That's true. Humans are kind of different because we figured out how to live on top of each other. This is gonna blow your mind. Right? Two point five billion dinosaurs. Really? Bodied by one meteor. Garchomp can use five. That seems absurd to me. Wait. How didn't, how didn't the meteor completely yeah, destroy... How, does anyone know how that? How did the meteor kill all of them? So pretty much uh, the meteor, uh, it was uh, it was fighting type and all of the dinosaurs were normal type. So it crit, it crit, right? So then there's the initial two times damage and then but, there's the same type attack bonus from the meteor. As well as then it crit, 
And so it was doing like four times damage. So mm. why were the dinosaurs all grouped up? Uh, <laughs> that was their first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were trying to make a, a ladder. <laughs> yeah, they're like, don't worry, guys. We'll just build a, we'll build a ladder. No, and they were really, catapulting but, at it, too. But if I were, so, mm. if it was one meteor, how did it get all of them? It went, it sent soot traveling all around the world. It didn't completely block out the sun, but it reduced the amount of light. So it had, an, so, wait, so a lot of them didn't die from the meteor. They died from starving because it was so dark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it got, it got really hungry and cold. Yeah, fucking pussies. I don't know, fit up pussies. <laughs> Figure it out, bro. My just God. eat, bro. <laughs> that completely invalidates the lion jacket hypothesis as well, because they can't just get warm. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's another thing. Like, where's the other a billion lions? They're gonna ravage everything and start eating each other. There has to be a Pokemon that can block out the sun. There, well, there is Pokemon do have control over the environment. With moves like Sunny Day, uh, which makes it real hot and increases fire type damage, mm. uh, as as well as make Solar Beam cast in one turn with no cooldown, um, as well as I mean, there's there's a move called Fucking Blizzard, cause a blizzard. There's a move <laughs> called Earthquake. You should do that one against them. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are they gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now the other thing is, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can put that to bed. Pretty sure Pokemon oh, yeah. just wins 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just aged bad, bro. I lost my hair quick. And I can't see. I You have more hair than me, bro. People say that your That's ass is bald. Me. There's no way, bro. My hair is, it's bad, bro. It's worse than like Vegeta's hairline from Dragon Ball Z. First anime reference. That's badass. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, that, that it's is bad. Holy it's shit. bad. I don't know. I just, I just, it came out of nowhere, man. When I turned 26, it just, I just exploded. That's you next year. Uh oh. Because you're already I'm balding, balding too. Am I? Yeah, I saw the clips where you lift your hair up. It is bad. That's just my forehead, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a five head, bro. That's bad. My forehead is not that big. It just looks bigger because you're used to seeing no forehead. No, nah, I don't think that's it, man. Yes, it is. Look at it. Four. No, nah, it's almost five. To be honest. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, I have four. Put your pinky lower. It's not too <laughs> Yeah, put your pinky lower, dog. Okay, what about now? What about now? Is that good? No, you can, you can fit your thumb in there, man. <laughs> no way. Really? Yeah, we're fighting losing battles. Oh, my God. It's not a good time. I started uh, losing my hair when I was, like, uh, 20, and I didn't want to admit it, or, like, 21. And my mom told me I was losing my hair. She watched a video, and I was showing her, like, look at this video of me and Zach driving to Whataburger, Mom. Look how cool we are. And she's like, oh, you're going bald. That's nice. Oh. You know, your grandfather was bald. And then it was like, okay, great. Now this is my life. I had the same talk, dog. I had yep. the same talk. But it's because I used pomade. You ever use pomade when you were a kid? No. Pomade, yeah, there's this really thick, like, wax. Oh, yeah. And I would use it in my hair all the time because I would slick my hair back. And it would hurt a lot. And each time I would use it, I would, it would pull my hair out. But I was like, it is nobody else in my family yeah. bald. I'll be good. I uh, had a one guy in my uh, high school, and he would style his hair with Elmer's glue. That's so and gross. Like, by the time, I mean, we're in Texas, right? So this shit is hot. By the time it was like lunch, six period, it looked like four or five people busted a nut on this guy's hair. It was so nasty. That's he had like these so mohawks. Gross. Gross. <laughs> It was. This is how gross this guy was. Uh, I mean, he was, you know, he was a friend of mine, right? And so that's one part. And then the other thing is that uh, I actually recognized him walking down the street, not by what he looked like, but by the shirt he was wearing. What? Yep. Same shirt? Same shirt. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Yep, exactly. What, did you stop him? No, I was just like, hey, there he is. No, I mean, like, did, did, he, did he have glue in his hair? No. Oh, okay. Thank God. So he, so he matured? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea, really. I wasn't really paying attention to that. I just saw the shirt. Yeah. But yeah, as far as I know, yeah, he would, uh, I think he, I don't even know if he graduated because he kept coming to class the last month of school and putting a projector in his backpack, in, in his backpack and then going home with it. And that's why I think the greatest superpower of all time, you ready for this? About to blow your mind. Okay. Nobody's ever thought of this before. <laughs> Besides one man, Iraqi. Besides Iraqi. Time erasure. See that? Tectone, if you erase certain things, yeah, that just might not be good for optics, you know? No. What would you erase? Okay, now watch this, okay? Time erasure. The ability to erase time. Okay, a lot of people are wondering, how the fuck do you erase time? I'm going to explain how. 
So let's say teleportation. That's cool because you can get yeah. places instantly, right? Right. So I walk and in my head, I'm like, I'm going to China, right? A race time. I'm now in China. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go there still? No. All I have to do is think I'm going to China. I erased the time that it took me to get to China. No, it, you still, you have to go there no. first yeah, wait, and then wait, I erase wait, the wait, time. Wait, but afterwards. I erased it. But I erased it. Wait, but would right. it still have effects on your body? Like you just walked through the ocean or yeah. whatever. You still have to like sit on the Spirit Airlines flight for 30 hours. No, I wouldn't because I erased that time. It's been erased. It's been erased. <laughs> it's been forgotten. Wait, but or it, like it no, never it happened. Never happened. Because if it never happened, then you're back to the no, to airport no, terminal. No, Wait, would it still exist in your memory? No, it's been erased. Oh my god! Unless I want it to, I have the ability to erase. This Imagine. is more than one power. <laughs> no, no, this no. time eraser. Watch this. I shoot a gun. Traffic. Right? I've shot a gun. Okay. Mm. I erased the fucking time. For like a second. This is stupid. No, no this is stupid. This best. doesn't make any sense. It what does, do you mean? Okay, so I does. shoot you, right? Yep. I erase time. Is the bullet still in you? Nope. So how do you expect to still be in China? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, be, no, because you <laughs> shot me. Erase time, right? Cameron, edit that So in. we jump back, is what you're saying. Nope, nope. So what I would have done was, I would have erased okay. the time. <laughs> yeah, That's all you have to do. I erased time, right? I erased the time where the bullet would have hit me. Uh-huh. And now it hasn't because I erased the time where it did. What? So you erased the time of you going to China? <laughs> yes. Yes. And you are China. no longer in China. No. You're not there anymore. What do you mean, no? No, no, okay. So if I walk to China, right? Okay, well, what's your plan to walk to China? You're walking to walk. the ocean? No, I'm just like this. He said walk. I could, why, I could, why, why walk? I could also fly. It no, also, you can't. I could. No, oh, on a plane. Oh. Right? Get in my car. Get in the plane. Well, forget I said. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking China, right? It's that easy. Because. No, but then the time doesn't exist anymore. No, it does. How can it reverse a bullet? Go it doesn't. No. Erase time. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't get it. it doesn't erase the time, right? So it's like, for example, a bread. It's falling over. Okay. Uh huh. I erase the time where what it was time? falling over. Okay. So the time where it goes from like, like, watch, watch. Okay. Here's a water bottle. Right. But I erase the time where it was falling, and so now it's just that. Like it's still gonna happen. Then how? So how is the bullet not in you anymore? Because I erased the time where it impacted. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the stupidest no, fucking thing I've ever you, heard in my entire life. No, it's all right. This is the disagree. stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my entire The bullet's still in you. No, but I erased it where it hit me. No. No, because... No. Okay, have you ever heard of King Crimson? No. That's what I would name my power, King Crimson. Okay. He, 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 <laughs> that's, it's a cool name, right? I erased the time where it would have hit me, right? And then here's the best thing, okay? So now, I shoot a bullet at you, Right? You're going to teleport. I fucking, King Crimson, I fucking erased the time where you would have dodged with your teleportation and now the bullet's inside of you because I erased the time where you would have teleported. Is that not insane? Is that not the greatest? So the bullet? Yes. You erase the time. <laughs> yes. And the bullet yep. goes into me. Yep. But when the bullet goes into you, yep. you erase the time. Yeah. And now there's magically not a bullet in you anymore. Yeah, because I erased where it would have hit me. I'm not going to save you. I could, but you're my enemy, right? In this scenario where we're fighting. Oh no, God. that's insane and that doesn't make any fucking sense. It does and everybody sense. in the comments will agree with me that that's the stupidest fucking thing no, you've because, said. Because probably on the podcast, but I can't be for sure. There's cause and effect, uh -huh. right? It's This is the cause, that's the effect. I just erase the time where it takes the time to get to the effect, right? You erase the cause? <laughs> No, I erased the time between the cause and the effect. It makes sense. This is this is one of those things that you'd see in an anime and you'd be like, I don't get it. And then you Google it and it's exactly what you watched. But everyone's like, oh yeah, no, it makes sense. And you're still like, what? <laughs> I stop waving that thing around. It's making me nervous. It's also making you me really nervous. Thank Although this has a fucking gun. Like, watch this, watch this. I am going to show you exactly how it works. Okay? So no, essentially, not. this is how time erasure works. 
Cameron, I erased the time. What? And now just say, oh, yeah, that makes sense. He's making parts just of the say, podcast. Please Stop. say, please no. say, oh, yeah, that's no. all right. No, no. Please, it would be such a cool edit. <laughs> I, I would mind control Cam- Cameron to not fuck with the footage <laughs> no, so, and present it exactly no, how it happened. Yeah. Does it erase after you do this, this yeah. swiping motion? Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> so, erase time! So, anyone near you will see, will see you go, erase time, <laughs> and do that, and yeah. then there's some are entirely different. <laughs> yeah. And they will not question Yo, the situation. Can I have my bugles? Yes, you can. What the fuck just changed? What, what, were, what were you erasing? In that I was scenario? erasing the time of the, me throwing was the bugles. erasing between the cause and the effect. Yeah, so uh, you said bugles, erase time. Boom. Wait, so they teleported to me? Yes. And I'm starting to get it now. <laughs> this, makes, it? this makes total sense in it's my head. It's fucking sick, right? I time erasure. One bugle. Because I waited for these and they arrived after we start. Would you like a bugle shot? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a bugle. You know, I had this girl who, uh, it was like one of the first crushes I ever experienced where she would feed me bugles off her fingertips. And she would make me like suck her fingers for the bugles. Do you want to eat a bugle off my fingertips? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Um.